Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and the big tech stocks, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 17, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button. That really helps with the, with the YouTube algorithms, and you're welcome to join us also over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by, start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we did fall all the way down towards uh, 4,616 and then completely turned around. And that is a fairly a good sign for this market. Uh, overall, this uptrend is still holding. The trend line is, is still holding and we have not broken below the 100 moving average. We have tested it nearly three times almost uh, today. Didn't really get down there before we turned around. And that's a fairly encouraging sign. If you manage to take out the 50 moving average, then we are going to focus on the previous highs here, roughly 4,750. And if we take out that, then there is the all the highs of roughly here of 4,818. Um, so there's a lot of work to be done, and it is going to be really, really choppy uh, next week. Um, the market's basically closed on Monday, so it will be on Tuesday. And... Um, that probably also is a good thing. It may well be that most of the fears that are in the market will be gone by that point, and uh, then the market will be less volatile than it has been in the last uh, week and a half. So uh, if you look at other technical indicators, we can see that MACD is uh, still bearish, uh, still uh, underneath the signal line, uh, but in bullish territory. RSI is uh, getting really low. And uh, the CCI is bearish, stochastic has turned around, has crossed the signal, so that's a, a good indication. And we are basically approaching the middle of the Bullish Band. So roughly at the 4,717, that is also going to be a barrier of resistance. If you look at the uh, selling signal or buying signal for cloud, we can see that the red line is still above the white line. So the 9 moving average, the nine moving average is still above the 26 moving average. And... At this current stage, we are still above the cloud, and that basically means that we are in the up tr upward trend, and we kind of uh, bounced off of the cloud here. So, as long as this is the case, then there's more hope that this trend will continue going upward. When this basically goes underneath the cloud and we have the crossing of these two lines, then there is a massive worry for this market that we may see this market tumble. But we are definitely not there yet so let's look at the nasdaq so nasdaq also really a good turnaround uh, at the end of the session we basically bounced off the 150 moving average and we're trading at the uh, 16 uh, 15,611 at this point so up 0 0.75 percent and that is really good considering that we were basically down 0 0.70 percent uh, earlier today so we were I basically at the bottom of the bullish band and we may see this go towards the middle of the bullish band yet again and if we manage to break above that then 16,800 or the previous all-time highs will most likely get targeted so there is a lot of work to be done here but it is the major tech stocks that are keeping this index uh, afloat if we will get that get to that in a moment if you look at the MACD, it's still in bearish territory and underneath the signal line, so that is not a good sign. RSI is getting very low, so we may see a, a rally when the market opens again. We see that the CCI is bearish and stochastic is bearish as well at this current stage. We basically touched the bottom of the bullish band and then bounced from there. So we could see this rally, give or take 2.75%. That's just underneath the 50 moving average and at the middle of the bullish band. So break above the middle of the bullish band and the 50 moving average. And then we may see this market go to the very highs yet again. And that's a rally of roughly 6.19% to the upside. If you look at the cloud, for example, we are, this is far more bearish than the S&P 500. And we do have a crossing of these two lines indicating that there is a selling signal right here. We were um, underneath the cloud for a very short period, but now we're basically right in uh, just above the lower part of the cloud. And just that basically means that this market may 
continue going up, it also may continue going down. Um, trading inside the cloud is considered basically, um, um, you can say it, uh, uncertainty. When the when price action is above the cloud, that's an uptrend. When the price action is underneath the cloud, that is basically a downtrend. So we have occasionally been underneath the cloud for uh, some periods. We were, for example, March 2021 with here. And we also saw it here in September 2021. And now yet again in 2022, we have been underneath the cloud for a period of time. But at this current stage, we had a really nice rally at the end of the session. And um, that should be a sign that the people are willing to invest at these levels. So if you go and look at the major tech stocks, we can see that all of them are green. So Amazon is up 0.57%. So this may rally up towards the 300 but big average, and that is a rally of roughly 2.3% to the upside. So it has not been looking good for Amazon. I think that it will visit these previous lows yet again and break below that, then this will probably tumble significantly further. Technical indicators generally for Amazon stock are very bearish at this current stage. If you look at Facebook, it is holding on to the 300 moving average. It has tested it three times uh, in recent weeks. And uh, today we got close to it. And then we just absolutely exploded to the upside, up 1.66%. And we're right here in the middle of the, right underneath the middle of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, they are still fairly bearish. And uh, if we manage to break above uh, these moving averages, then we may go and test the highs here, which is roughly at the 352. That is kind of the barrier. We saw it here. We've seen it twice here and saw it yet again here. If you manage to break above that, then the very old time highs of 383 that will come into play. And uh, and uh, that will definitely be a very a good sign for the markets. If you look at Tesla, also a rallying here. Um, it's I think Tesla is going to go sideways for the foreseeable future. I don't really see the stock um, heading uh, towards um, uh, 1500 or or uh, or 2000, which I've seen many um, analysts predicting, it just it probably will just go sideways. And at some period of time, when the market rallies enough, then this will probably take off. Um, I've seen some analysts also having this basically going really far down. But this is basically a cold stock. People are not selling this. Um, but um, it is struggling uh, to get past roughly 1200, 1250. So let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft is looking fantastic, has bounced off uh, the uh, 150 moving average, had a dreadful day yesterday. It was down roughly 5% and now up at 1.77%. And it may well be that we will rally up towards the 100 moving average or the 20 expansion moving average, and that. And that is right underneath the middle of the bullish band. So expectations for uh, markets when they open again is that we will most likely see a rally of roughly 2 to 3%. And break it below the 150, then the 200 moving average comes into play right here. And that's a fall from this high of roughly 6% to the downside. Technical indicators otherwise are very bearish indeed. We have been falling roughly at this current stage roughly 10% uh, from the very highs. So Netflix has been absolutely trashed in recent days. It did see a relief rally today, and uh, it was basically down 26% Netflix. So um, we did rally quite a bit. Uh, we went roughly up 5% when it was most and ended up 1.25%. Uh, but it has been battered. You can see the RSI is significantly low and a rally up towards the 300 moving average or the 200 moving average, that should be possible in the next uh, few trading days. And uh, then we can look at Apple. Apple is uh, finding major support here at the 20 exponential and uh, break above the, uh, the 40 exponential. If we break above the 20 exponential, then it may well be that we'll see this go to all the highs. So that is a rally roughly 5% to the upside. So uh, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and stochastic is bullish. 
and we need to break above the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at 175. If you look at Google, last one here, also found the major support at the 200 moving average, rallied up towards 20, broke down again, and then rallied yet again today. So as long as the 20, 200 moving average holds, then we may see this go and test the 50 and then probably break above here. Also here, RSI very low and other technical indicators are still bearish, but they are flattening out and, um, and the stochastic has turned around. So break below the 200 moving average, that basically the opposite door to massive drop to the 300, roughly 13%. Don't see that happening uh, at this current stage. Um, uh, basically, the skeptics has, have thrown everything that they have at this market. Um, it has been a lot of fears. That's also why we have seen so much volatility. But I don't really see what else is out there. Um, the, the inflation numbers, even though they are really bad, they're not making this market crash at this current stage. It may happen later, but at this moment, the, the market is still holding. So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.